Hey everybody, Dr. A here, and in this video, we're gonna be exploring an example of how to calculate the average shear wave velocity in a stratified soil. So let's look at the given information. We're being asked to compute the average shear wave velocity in the top 100 feet for a site with a given stratigraphy, okay? So remember, stratigraphy just means uh, a layered soil or a soil with, with multiple layers. So if we take a look at what we have here, we have the soil uh, stratigraphy with three different layers, okay? So from elevation 200 down to 125, we have a shear wave velocity of 1500 feet per second. FPS is feet per second. The second layer goes from elevation 125 down to 75 feet, and it has a um, shear wave velocity of 1,200 feet per second. And then the third layer goes from 75 feet down to 50 feet and has a shear wave velocity of 2,200 feet per second. So I'm gonna go ahead and just note here, this first layer is 75 feet. Uh, we just say 200 minus 125. The second layer right here is how much? Well, that's just, 50 feet, right? We say 125 minus 75. And then that third layer, of course, is 25 feet. Now, here's where you gotta be careful. In ASE 722, we're always interested in the shear wave velocity within the top 100 feet. So if you notice, this uh, soil, these soil layers are not adding up to 100. In fact, if you say 75, plus 50 plus 25, this whole thing is 150 feet. So remember, you gotta be careful. You gotta look at your elevations carefully. Don't just get excited and start plugging and chugging. You gotta think about what you're given, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and write solution here. And I'm gonna say uh, V sub S average is gonna be equal to uh, 100 feet divided by the summation as i goes from 1 to n of d sub i over v sub s sub i, okay? And again, you gotta be careful. We're just looking at the top 100 feet. So if we expand this, we're gonna say 100 feet divided by, now let's look at this first layer that's within the top 100 feet, okay? That's gonna be 75 feet divided by 1500 feet per second, okay? And then we're gonna say plus, and then we have to look what else is in the top 100 feet. Well, some of this second layer is within the top 100 feet, but you gotta be careful. The entire layer is not what's in the top 100 feet, right? Only uh, about 25 feet of that, right? So right here, is gonna be ELEV 100, right? So we're, we're really only interested in uh, this 25 feet that is within the top 100 feet. So we're gonna say plus 25 feet divided by 1200 FPS, okay? So you gotta be careful because this other 25 feet that is part of the, the second layer is not within the top 100 feet. And then definitely this third uh, layer down here is not within the top 100 feet. So if we punch all of this through, we should get uh, 1,412 feet per second or abbreviated as FPS. And that's gonna uh, be the final solution, the final answer to this problem. So the moral of the story is um, be very careful when you're looking at stratified soils. And remember, when you are calculating an average shear wave velocity for the purposes of using the equivalent lateral force method, ASC 722 tells us that we're only interested in the uh, soil layers and the soil properties within the top 100 feet. So watch out for that. If you found this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe and be on the lookout for more content like this. Thanks for watching.